Hey guys, what is up here? It's your boy Cool Titanium Six here, and welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today, we're gonna be looking at Dorney Park. This is a 200-acre park located between the cities of Allentown and Emmaus, Pennsylvania. It's actually opened in 1884, just 14 years after Cedar Point opened. Very cool. So. If there is a total of, hold on, yes, there's not many coasters, uh, yeah, there's only like seven coasters, really isn't much. So let's get into our first one. First one is Hydra, this is a B&M floorless, no, this is not a floorless conversion. This is actually one of the very few floorless coasters that a park bought and built so it's not like it was originally a stand-up and they built it and they uh, converted it recently no yeah this opened in uh, 2005 is actually known for their Jojo roll I think this may have been the first park to introduce a Jojo roll into a uh, coaster yeah next we have possessed it is an Intamin launched impulse coaster very similar to a lot of other parks that have an Intamin launched impulse coaster. So this one opened in 2008 and was re relocated from, no big surprise, Gouja Lake. Man. Next we have Steel Force. This is a D.H. Morgan manufacturing hyper coaster. Wow. This is actually one of the first times that I've seen a hyper coaster that wasn't manufactured by either B&M or Intamin. So this was opened in 1997 and actually has over a mile of track. It's actually one of the longest coast coasters in the on the east coast of the US. So it's not in the world, I said the east coast. So that's actually pretty cool. Next we have Talon, which is their B&M inverted coaster. It actually opened in 2001 and wow, it has a vertical loop, a zero G roll, an moment and a flat spin. That's got to be a pretty unique layout. Next we've got Thunderhawk. This is a Philadelphia toboggan wooden coaster. It actually opened in 1923. And is one of the oldest rides at the park. It's not the first ride. It's one of the oldest. Because if, the old, the, if it was the first, it would have probably opened in like 1884. Next we've got Wild Mouse. And of course, it's a Mara AG Wild Mass Coaster. Again, nothing much to say. Opened in 2000. Seriously, there really isn't much to say about uh, Wild Mass Coasters. Like, they're everywhere. And last but not least, we've got Woodstock Express. This is Zampera, the family coaster. Opened in uh, 2000. Man. There really wasn't a lot of stuff from Dorney Park. I'm actually surprised that Dorney Park hasn't really gotten that much stuff. It must be more of a family-oriented park than someone like Carowinds or Kings, I or Kings Island or Kings Dominion or Cedar Point, because those coast those are like really big coast, really big places for coaster for uh, coasters. Especially Cedar Point, saying that they have, that they are the uh, roller coaster capital of the world. But yeah, of course, it's just Dorney Park. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just there really isn't that much coming out of Dorney Park. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys like the video. Again, like and subscribe, and I hope to see y'all later. Peace.